Blessings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's Amen. such a blessing coming your way once again. Always delighted to have this opportunity to speak God's word to you. And today, we'll be richly blessed as we share the word in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, I'm with my good friend, Pastor Tony. You're welcome, sir. Such a blessing having you Thank be you, a sir. part of this. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time he's, uh, he's kind of uh, being featured on this program. And particularly, uh, he's a uh, pastor and also a friend of mine. And also a part of the work that goes on here at Life Commission Ministry. Always a blessing having him around. So Thank good to sir. have you around, sir. Thank you, sir. So today, we're actually talking on the blessing of the Lord. That's and really I don't think this is a new word. Almost every believer, you know, is part of our Christianese. You know, what we say, bless you, brother, bless you, sister and all of that you know and um, we just want to get understand what the blessing of the Lord really is you know it's obvious that when you say the blessing of the Lord now has to it lets us know that there is other kind of blessings yes. you know but we're talking about the blessing of the Lord yes. so we're going to be taking a reference from the book of Proverbs the 10th chapter and the 22nd verse the word of God tells us the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Glory to God. It says the blessing of the Lord makes one rich. And ask no sorrow to you. Now, uh, the, the common understanding of this is people look at you have the, 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 the so much money, you have so much money, you have cars, you have houses, you have uh, what else, lands and properties and all those stuff. And then they say, that is a blessed man. But God says, no, it's a reverse in the kingdom. He said that you are not going to call one blessed because of what he has. But he said that the blessing of the Lord will produce whatever you need. Glory to God. So I want to ask you, what, what do we define as the blessing of the Lord? The blessing of the Lord. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, the blessing is empowerment. Empowerment. Wow. Empowerment. That's great. But we, the Christians, most, a lot of people see the blessings as the material things. Okay. The things you can see. Okay. But just another blessing. Okay. The blessing of God is the blessing of God in your mind. Wow. And when, when the moment you are born again, mm. the anointing of God come upon your life. Praise God. And once the anointing come upon your life, it empowers you. It empowers you for success. Wow. 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 It wow. causes whatever you do to produce, wow. to bring a result. Wow. Wow. So the blessing is the presence of God in your mind. Okay, so that, that means the blessing is just like we talk about grace. The Bible says, uh, Paul was speaking, he said, I am what I am by the grace of God. And he said that, that grace is not without effect. So in other words, we are empowered by the blessing, but the blessing is not without effect. Now that's what results in the whatever we have and all of that. Based on your definition, you said that the blessing of the Lord is God's empowerment upon us. Now when you use the word empowerment, no one is empowered for nothing. That tells us that the blessing is connected to our assignment. So That means we are empowered to be all we need to be to have all we need to have and to you know express all we need to express of god but that empowerment is the enabling factor that produces all that we express so instead of focusing on the effects we need to focus on the seed which is the blessing you want to say something more about that please? you know uh, the bible says when the spirit of god come upon you mm. empower oh hallelujah the spirit of god come with boldness mm. you see it empowers you to do what human you cannot do on your own wow okay. you know that there are places when you go to on your own you cannot perform mm. but when you when you allow the anointing of god mm. to use you wow. you'll be surprised at what you're going to do wow. because the blessing is you're not the one doing the work wow. it's god that is looking through you wow and now you are using an extra power that mm. is beyond your own power Praise God. Praise to god. do what you man you supernatural ability. ability and that's why it's called the blessing yes. of the lord yes. glory to god you know that, that seems to be like god's trademark on your life that God has put his seal on you that this my child and is, is been anointed for this purpose. Like Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. You know, so like the blessing is God's anointing upon us, God's empowerment. And I, I just find, found out that the more I study God's word, especially in the light of the blessing, I discovered you can't separate the blessing from your assignment. In other words, like when you read the book of uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, the Bible talks about, uh, uh, what is his name, Adam, God blessing Adam, God empowered him. <laughs> You know, God empowered Adam, the Bible said that and God blessed him and said, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth and all of what he said. Now, he said that for a reason. He had an assignment for Adam. Remember, he gave Adam an assignment, a yeah, task yeah. to accomplish. Sure, sure. And the blessing was to enable Adam to carry out that task. But unfortunately, today, we have a kind of funny kind of thinking, especially when it comes to the blessing. We always think about what God can do for us and how he can add to our lives. Yeah. And the question that's always left unanswered is, for what? 
Why do you want the new car? Why do you want a new house? Why do you want the effects of the blessing? Why do you even want the blessing when you're not even thinking on the assignment? You know, so I want you to say something. How, how do we relate the blessing and the assignment, especially practically in our time? Yeah. You know, what the Bible will say in uh, Proverbs 10 to 2, mm -hmm. so the blessing make it rich. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a blessing that is going to cause you to do mm -hmm. what you should do. You see, it make it rich. Wow. That means when the blessing come upon you, you come to an assignment. Wow. You get me now? Mm -hmm. And when you allow yourself to be used by the blessing to do the assignment that mm -hmm. God has called you to do, mm -hmm. you, know, find it, you, know, find, you find it so easy. Wow. Why? Because you are not the one doing it. Wow. Your own is just for you to allow the blessing to flow through, through you. you. Hallelujah. So that you can do the work that God has called you to do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that blessing can only come on, you can only function in the light of that blessing when you are conscious that you are not the one doing it. You are conscious that you are not the one doing the work. That is God. It is God that is working through you. There's an instrument mm, in the hand of God for that's God good. to use to carry out this assignment in His head. Wow. And in the process of doing God assignment, God will do yours. Wow. And, and that already tells us from what you're sharing now that without the purpose, without the assignment, mm. the blessing doesn't make sense. Yes. Because the blessing is supposed to have an expression through your assignment, mm. through what God wants to do mm. in you and through you now look at uh, abraham for example he, they, when he was blessing he said i will bless, bless you, you and and you will be what a, a blessing blessed. it like it, it's just he couldn't def, he couldn't just say one without the other yeah. like it's so important that you being blessed is connected with you being a blessing yes. so meaning that when we as believers don't understand what we are called to do and how that blessing was supposed to flow through us it seemed not to make sense in our lives you know, yeah. you know, that's why you need to understand the purpose of God for your life. Mm. The Bible says we are created by God and okay. from God. Hallelujah. And that means the anointing is given to us for a purpose. Wow. Wow. So the one thing you want to need to the first thing that you need to know is the purpose of the anointing. Mm. Why is the anointing in you? Why God? Why God decided to invest so much in us? Wow. Why? Wow. For a purpose. The mandate. For a purpose. Praise God. Oh, this is so powerful. I think uh, it's so important we understand the purpose of the blessing because if not, we might be wondering why it's not manifesting, why we're not seeing the effect. You know, and one of the things you have to register in your heart is the identity of a blessed one. If you are born again, you're already blessed. The Bible calls God the blessed God. You know, and we are his kids. You know, and we are the blessed ones also. It's like it just flows down into us. Now, I want us to look at something in, in the book of Vision chapter 1 verse 3. The Bible talks about giving thanks to the Father. He said, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You know, when, when people read that scripture, there's a lot of disconnect. They're like, first spiritual blessing oh it's not for this world it's spiritual we can't see it. then he says in heavenly oh it's in heaven <laughs> it's like we, we just seem not to you know connect with that how can we bring that to be right now in our lives can we explain that blessing how does it connect with our lives talking about the fact that he's blessed us with spiritual blessing and then in the heavenly places i believe there's an understanding we need to have that helps us to connect to the reality of that and really yeah. express it on earth yeah. no you yeah. know when you talk about the uh, the spiritual blessings yes. that was a way i believe yeah in the heaven places mm. with spiritual blessings yes. you know that spiritual blessings sometimes can also become the anointing okay the anointing for you the to empowerment do, yes to function on earth with wow. heavenly ability okay again that function on earth, earth with heavenly ability. ability wow that's powerful i like that so yeah. so that you cannot enjoy life on earth as though you are heaven wow wow heaven on earth right <laughs> you know it's, Praise it God. is only the christians that can live in two wow. worlds at the same time wow. the bible says that we are seated with him wow. in christ wow. again so now it's only to, so that that spiritual blessing is 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 is, is an empowerment wow. Wow. given to us by god wow to help us live this life here on earth. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To enjoy all that He has provided wow. for us wow. here on wow. earth. Wow. Wow. Without struggling. Wow. Without trying to make things work in our own ability. Our ability. Wow. You know, no, I really like the, the, the connection that Tony really uh, puts on, on that Ephesians chapter. You know, I feel that when you pro probably understand that Ephesians chapter 3, chapter 1 verse 3, it becomes one of your very, very empowering okay. scripture. Yeah. For example, he said that giving thanks, you know, thanking, giving thanks to the Father, he said, he said who has blessed us <laughs> with every yeah. spiritual blessing. Now, in order for you to just get the whole impute, first of all, understand that the blessing is not physical. 
You don't see the blessing. No, no, no. What we see is the effects, no, no. the manifestation, the physical manifestation of the blessing in our natural world. No, no. But we know that the spirit realm is the mother of the physical world. If I anything, what we see, you know, sometimes that's why it matters what your reality is. For some people, their reality is just what they can see with their senses. But the Bible says that we walk by faith and not by sight. So in other words, the realm of, when we talk about spiritual blessings, is not something unreal. It should be more real to you than even the physical stuff you see. Yeah. You know the reason why other people are not really experiencing the blessing? Okay. They are, their mind is more rest on the physical thing. Okay. They are going after the effect. The effect? Not wow. The, not the like seed itself. The seed. Wow. Wow. You wow. see, wow. The, the, the cars, the houses are not really the blessings. Mm. They are the manifestation of the blessings. The effects of the, the blessings. Effect of wow. the blessing of wow. God in your life. Wow. Wow. So when you, when, you, when you so much put your eye or so much allow the things of the world you are carrying about the things of the world, mm -hmm. you will not enjoy the blessing wow you will not see the effect of the blessing in your life wow. but when you really you just know that this the reason why i'm prospering the reason why today the business i'm doing is succeeding wow. where i'm working is succeeding it's wow. not because i'm an, an expert mm. but because there's no one in me oh, there's anointing that's at work in my life that anointing come upon anything i do hallelujah. and because makes it to prosper. prosper wow the blessing of the lord make it rich and he added, and, and that's something we need to really put into consideration. When it's from the Lord, there's no sorrow attached no to sorrow it. Attached. See, there's no sorrow. It added no, no sorrow, sorrow with it. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I said he has blessed us, giving thanks to the Father. I said who has blessed yes, us yes. with every. Yes. And guess what he says? All. Oh. Oh. That means there's nothing you need that God hasn't given to you. Sure. So that he has blessed us with every yes, spiritual yes, blessing. Yes. And then when he says in the heavenly places, don't think it's in the sweet by and by you're going to have that. Now, yeah. so remember, they are for your assignments. And if you don't have them here, it's in heaven. You don't have any soul to reach in heaven. And by the way, when he talks about the Father, it's in heavenly places. You need to remember that that's where you are. Too. Pastor, we are seated in Christ and with Christ in, in the, the heavenly places. places. So, so don't disconnect yourself from the blessing of God. Because you know, now, why people don't flow with us? Uh, scripture, why they think it's in the future is because there's no proper understanding exactly. of it. That's what the Bible talks about, rightly dividing the word of truth. So the more we understand what the word of God is, for example, understand the nature of the blessing, that is spiritual. How did God bless Adam? He spoke words. There was nothing. He didn't give him anything. He said, be blessed. If you look at that, yeah. say, thank God. Yeah, giving thanks Thank because it's already you know, been given. You, that the anytime you come to the presence of God, the first thing you should do is oh, go there with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. Thank Glory you. to God. Glory to God. Thank even when you have not seen so God, I thank Praise you. God. I have to come. I thank you for my daughter. Thank you. I thank you for my children. I thank you for my wife. Why? Because you are thanking for what you have done. Praise God, praise God. And when you keep thanking him, <laughs> even without you. going out there, uh, you will start seeing the result. Manifestation, the effect. Why? Because blessing. you've understood what it means Hallelujah. by the blessing. And, and it appears that thanksgiving is a blessing connector. Sure. It's like when, when you give thanks, it's like it, it, it's one of the things that unleashes the, the manifestation of the, of the blessing. Yes, because is. thanksgiving is, is an expression of faith. Sure. It's a sign that you received. Thanksgiving right. is a path yeah. towards the blessing flows. Wow. wow. The if the blessing flow. Wow. Is that so you have to be someone that thanks you have to be a thankful someone? Wow. Yeah. Someone that always when you come around, the first thing you should do, you should know that everything you have and everything that you ever have are from God. Praise God, praise God. God is the provider. Even the ones you can see, you, you know that He has made it available everything. and there's going to be a manifestation. God, 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 God is not the man that should lie. Wow. Wow, That's the first wow, thing you should put wow. your heart in. So that consciousness, thanksgiving gives us a consciousness. Thanksgiving brings about the release, the manifestation of the blessing. Yeah, it's a mindset. So the blessing of the Lord maketh make you rich, maketh me rich, and added no sorrow, sorrow with it. And that blessing, the Bible said that He has already blessed us with every. There's nothing that God is withholding from you today. He has blessed you with every spiritual blessing. All you're expecting today is the manifestation, the effects of that blessing. And then He said that it's in heavenly places. And guess what? We're supposed to. We're never meant to operate from the edge. We're sure. operating from where we belong. So it shouldn't be a mystery to you that the blessing is in the heavenly places. Yes, That's sure. where you are too. Yes, sure. Okay. <laughs> That's where we are. So we are functioning in that blessing, and through faith, we bring about the manifestation of that blessing. blessing. We're going to be coming back with this. Just stay tuned with this. God bless you.